Okay, let me take a quick call. We're going, we're going over. We're going to head. Excuse me, to Istanbul and Adrian Dunham in just a moment. But I want to catch a City fan. Uh, Gary's on the line. Gary, a very good morning. Morning, Roger. Okay. Morning, oh, Gary. Great. Gary, are you on your way? Are you watching it here? Are, we, are, you, are you getting to the game? Uh, well, no, I'm going to. Uh, I can't afford it. I've got uh, got three little kids, so yeah. it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a thing. Um, we, we call basically, you know, a lot of people have been going on about who's the great, who's going to be the greatest uh, treble, City or United. Yeah. To me, to me personally, this isn't the question, but they're just going to be as good as each other to do a treble, no matter what, what era. Uh, but my question is. If we do this treble tomorrow and uh, everyone's comparing Pep to Fergie, surely that, um, Ferg, we will have done more than what Fergie's done. When he, I mean, United never got 100 points. United never did the domestic treble. We've won five Premier Leagues out of seven. Um, and, you know, we're on, the, we're on the verge of hopefully tomorrow a treble. So, I mean, I don't know where you stand on it, but I think our achievements would be better than what Fergie did if we win tomorrow. Yes, yeah, uh, well, it's, it's a longevity, it's, isn't it? He's, yeah. I know, look, Pep Guardiola, if he stays for another how many years, I don't know he's, how long he's going to stay he for. Does. I don't I'm sure going. there's going to be plenty of more trophies he's going to win. Mm. Uh, and he might have his sights on maybe mm. uh, Fergie, what he's achieved. So, But it will be an um, amazing achievement if he do do the well, tell, well, let's go to Istanbul and ask Adrian Dunham and see what he thinks. Uh, is he right up there with Fergie if he wins this and hopefully tomorrow he'll be lifting the trophy or not? Adrian, a very good morning. Good morning from Istanbul, right outside the stadium. And what an event we have got here. Champions League finals, fantastic, always. But I can't wait for this. City completing the treble. And, and that, to answer that question from that caller, he's absolutely bang on. Both incredible achievements, hard to compare different eras. One thing I would say is those, that United title winning side had, I think they won it with, what, 79 points, I think it was. Um and this City side have won it with a lot more points. Different seasons, I get it. Different opposition involved. But maybe City probably just edge it for me. But there's no right or wrong answer, is there, really? No. no. What can stop City? Is it just an off night? Or have Inter got anything that's going to shock us? You know what? When we look at City getting to the final a couple of years ago against Chelsea, what stopped City there was Pep Guardiola. He didn't put Rodri in the team. He didn't put Fernandinho in the team. So, hence, they didn't have a, a holding midfielder, a defensive midfielder. He, I'm sure he won't make that mistake again. Because remember the Chelsea winner, they cut a swathe through the middle of Manchester City and Kai Havertz tapped in uh, after Edison had parried his first shot. So, I think that Pep Guardiola are overthinking is potentially a problem. But maybe this time he will have learned his lessons. Player for player, they're the better team without any question. So on the night, we know anything can happen. But if you're having a look at it sensibly, on the balance of probabilities, Manchester City win the game. What about uh, a bit of colour out there? How's the weather? Is there plenty blue shirts, City, or are Inter out there? There's the weather. Oh, yeah, it's warm. It's warm. <laughs> What do you think it's going to be in Istanbul now? Well, you don't know. Uh, please uh, tell me it's raining. Don't say it's raining. Please. Please. Hey, honestly, I'm expecting rain any second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it's not warm at all. It's it's like I mean I, I can't stand the sun. You know that. So I, I'm I'm thinking this is magical because it's overcast. The sun isn't shining. It was this morning, but temperatures have dropped. Very windy. And let me tell you, at night in the stadium, we were there last night. Temperatures drop dramatically. In Thank the you, Thanks, Adrian. Adrian. Thank, Thank you. Stick that you say, pipe why, and smoke why did you say it's really hot? Like, it might be a lot easier, uh, right? I was turning the John Kettley over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think City fans will have to wrap up warm because in the stadium it will get freezing. I remember Liverpool 05 coming here and, and the miracle of Istanbul. I remember seeing Liverpool fans shaking with cold in the stadium because they'd underclubbed it. So don't make that mistake, City fans. And the advice from UEFA is get here early because this is miles out of town. We were in the middle of Istanbul last night having a lovely Turkish kebab. It was beautiful. A lot of people milling around. There's a lot of Champions League feel here. But the advice is get here early. They're even saying get here nine hours before kickoff. What? Don't take any chances. I know, it's crazy. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What about uh, dangers then, Adrian? I don't know if you've had a good chance yet to go through the interside. Dzeko, now, he's still, I can't believe how well, what a good season he's had. Yeah, and of course he will want to put one over his old club. Um, but also Laturo Martinez up front with him is an absolutely fantastic striker. He's got a score to settle because Julian Alvarez took his Argentina place at the World Cup. So he will want to prove he's the top man. 
I think the uh, one of the big problems for City will be in goal. Anana in goal for Inter Milan is one of the very best in the world. He's probably the only player from the Inter side who would get into a joint eleven. Um, so they've got to get past him, and he's really, really good. So, listen, you go through it man for man, and City are by far the better side. And the but stronger bench know, as it's well. How yeah. you perform on the night? Yeah. Uh, Shay, would you go with that? The keeper, um, yeah, man? yeah, he's been linked with Man United this season. He's a he's a brilliant keeper. I remember him from his time at Ajax. He's so comfortable with the ball at his feet as well. He plays really high up as a mm. sweeper. I don't know if he'll be able to do that tomorrow because Inter Milan will probably be on the edge of their box, you know, defending and, and trying to counter attack. But Onana's a top keeper. Adrian, Adrian spot on. I mean, Jekyll Martinez. I mean, Lukaku off the bench as well. Adrian would be a danger, yeah. I would say. Yeah, they've got goals in them. They've got strikers. There's no doubt about that. Um, I watched uh, the Coppa Italia final recently. They beat Fiorentina to put a trailing in the game. However, Fiorentina missed some absolute sitters in that game. So defensively, they'll give up chances. And I think it's about time Erling Haaland returned return to form. You can't knock him for his numbers this season. But recently, I think he's actually in his worst run of form uh, at the end of the season. So he needs to get back to scoring goals. What he has done, though, he's helped out the team defensively. He's got assists as well. I think he's thoroughly deserving of his Player of the Year award, but he needs to bang in some goals. But we all know he loves the Champions League. It's the ringtone on his phone. He's made for occasions like tomorrow. Adrian, nice one, Adrian. Sorry about that. I think Adrian just fell in the no, bus. No, no, no. I think it's raining now. Uh, no, right. it's the, it's the, <laughs> he's fell in the, the, the bus. Uh, Adrian, enjoy. Thank you. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.